Hey friend, welcome to another Transformation Tuesday video, but I know this will be helpful no matter what day of the week you're watching it. Uh, I am really excited for the next seven weeks of content on this channel because we're diving deep into the deep end of esoterica and learning how understanding each of the seven hermetic principles can basically make you a fucking magician. So every Tuesday for the next seven weeks, I'll drop a different video on each of the seven hermetic principles. So I hope you're as excited for that as I am. And today's masterclass is all about the principle of mentalism. So let's get started. Before we jump in, here's my quick little disclaimer as usual. I'm always teaching from my current level of understanding, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't because you may have a different understanding than I do, and that is okay. Please be sure to like this video to get it in front of more people who would benefit from it, or even share it if you like, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet so that you know when I upload new videos. Um, it also helps my channel grow, obviously, but more importantly, it helps more people who need this kind of content to find it because the more subscribers I have, the more YouTube pushes out my videos. And here we go. To quote the Kabbalion, the all is mind, the universe is mental. So before creation, all was mind or consciousness until it had the thought, I am, and creation began. And the all is the substantial reality underlying all the 3D manifestations that we know as the material universe. So basically, everything that's apparent to our material or physical senses. This substantial reality that we can't sense with our physical senses is spirit or the all, which in itself is unknowable, undefinable, and can only be experienced, but may be considered and thought of as a universal, infinite, living mind. Essentially, our universe is simply a mental creation of the all and is subject to the laws of created things. We live in the mind of source energy, and we're essentially thoughts of a greater mind. And we are all unique expressions of source energy living inside the mind of the all. So I know this is a bit brain bendy and kind of weighty, but you know, hang in there with me. This principle explains mental and psychic phenomena and why we all have the power to connect to in, in, bleh, infinite intelligence, <laughs> sorry about that, um, within us. So every single one of us has the ability to connect into that infinite intelligence. And it also explains why you can tune your mental state to align with any timeline, reality, or version of yourself that you choose to experience. It also shows us that the, or the true nature of energy, power, and matter, plus why and how all of these are subordinate to the mastery of mind. And this is where the law of assumption plays in because we create our realities with our thoughts and our belief systems determine what we think. But our thoughts don't just affect 3D reality, they affect the collective consciousness, i.e. everyone is you pushed out as Uncle Neville would say. Um, and our thoughts also affect our higher selves and expand the divine mind, one consciousness, infinite intelligence, or the all. 
and divine thoughts affect us, as well as the thoughts in the collective consciousness. So we all affect each other on all different planes of existence, basically. Think of thoughts as energetic beings that go out into the quantum field and attract or manifest on the physical, mental, and spiritual planes. Everything that exists in the 3D right now started as a thought, and everything that happens in the 3D is vibrational stimuli that's interpreted by your brain a certain way. So everything you experience is your brain's interpretation of the vibrational stimuli it receives from your physical senses, right? Therefore, everything that's happening to you is happening in your mind, so to speak. And everything that happens is neutral until the observer, aka you, places meaning and value on it. All of our observations of neutral truths are filtered through our reticular activating system, which was programmed for us by our caretakers and society in general between the ages of zero and about six or seven years old. And we define ourselves, our circumstances, desires, and experiences from there. And if the all is mind, we are mind as well, because as above, so below, which we'll talk about in next week's masterclass on the principle of correspondence. But if the all is basically one big super mind, we are a smaller 3D manifestation of that, but with similar capabilities. That's how we're made in God's image. And this also makes me think of the Neville quote, I and my father are one, but my father is greater than I. So are you with me so far? No matter when you're watching this, even if it's been years since this video premiered, let me know in the comments if this is making sense to you so far. And if you want my help making sense of this, please check the description box to find out how I can support you further. But what even is mind? For the, purpose, for the purposes of this video, we're talking about these three. So your conscious mind, which is the mind you use day to day and is most on the surface. The subconscious mind, which decides who you really are, what you like, etc., and is programmed with your belief system and self-concept in your formative years. And then we have the superconscious mind, i.e., the cloud, the internet, the all. And it is connected to everyone's subconscious. Everyone can tap into this. But this is where ideas come from and why more than one person will get complex downloads at the same time. People are tapping into the super conscious mind. So I think especially when it comes to these really important downloads that come to more than one person at the same time, basically the information is being downloaded to earth and those who are able to receive the transmission based on their existing individual understanding will receive it and interpret it in their own way. This is essential to our human and spiritual evolution, as well as the planet's evolution, because having multiple interpretations of the same concept can only help us understand it better if we can stop arguing over our individual interpretations and whose is more correct. Because the more people there are who understand something, the more ways there are to interpret and explain it to others.
which means the message will be delivered to the most possible people via these different messengers who resonate with different people. And these major downloads and breakthroughs in understanding always seem to come in for us at pivotal moments in history. So how are we doing so far? I wanna see your aha moments and uh, your questions, if you have any, in the comment section, and I promise to come back and respond to everyone. And very quickly, before we go over the last point that will make all of this come together for you, I just wanna remind you that the end of the year is fast approaching. And you may not need this reminder, but like it sort of hit me like out of nowhere, holy shit, this year is literally almost over. So now's the time to sign up to work with me because I don't know how much longer I'll be taking private clients as pretty much everything is changing for me in my life really rapidly. But I do know for sure that I'm being guided to increase my investment prices in the new year because it's gotten so much more powerful to work with me just over the past few months. Which means this is definitely your last chance to work with me at my current investment prices. So check out the description box for a link to all the ways you can currently work with me and get booked now. And or join the Abundant Universe Discord community as a patron for all of this at the lowest investment price it will ever be. So you get replay and download access to all of my powerful live streams. You can uh, sit in on them for free in the free community, but the replays and download access are only available to patrons because it's not really free content that I'm giving. Two monthly moon rituals designed to help you mindfully manifest what you want more quickly and effortlessly using the energies of the moon. And it's, it's a party. We had a really good time uh, during the new moon in Scorpio ritual. So come join us and we're going to have another party for the full moon in Taurus on November 8th. Patrons only channeled messages. So these are more specific than what I channel for the whole collective. Special spiritual activations that no one else gets. Group self-compassion code clearing and healing sessions that can also get more specific than the ones that I do for the collective. And uh, any other live events and features I feel guided to add, the value is truly amazing for such a low investment price. So join us today and get locked in at just $9.99 per month or $99.99 for the whole year if you would like to get two months for free. Depending on when you're watching this, the investment may be higher um, because it is increasing with the value of the membership. but for right now in October of 2022, that is what it is. And that link will also be in the description box as will my contact information. If you have any questions about working with me in any capacity, I apologize for the siren if you can hear it, but be sure to join as a free member first if you're not already. So you can use the link to upgrade your membership, which will give you instant access to the patrons area and all the exclusive content that is there already, including the sacred love codes activation that I did. So if you want to do that, you can get into that in the patrons area. And now let's hit that final point. Creation is an illusion because literally everything already exists. So you're never actually creating anything, but instead attracting and manifesting what already exists by aligning yourself with and shifting into the timeline where you already have it. There are infinite parallel earths parallel galaxies, and even parallel universes. 
And because literally every single possibility already exists in the unified field, from your reality to slight unnoticeable variations of your known reality, all the way up to realities that you wouldn't recognize anything about, it's possible to shift into them or attract slash manifest what you want from them if you prefer to look at it that way. Thought collapses waveform function, which means that the consciousness, yours, mine, or anyone's, that's interacting with the unified field has narrowed the waveforms of probability down to a single possibility that manifests as reality. So the more you understand this principle, the faster and easier it is to manifest what you want, the more psychic you become because you know that we're all one and that you're connected to infinite intelligence all the time. The more you're able to heal other people and yourself, the more you can influence others on a mental level and so on. We are all literally one being, all rolled up with everything, including time, which isn't linear because everything is happening everywhere all at once. Premonitions are just future memories, and they're just as easy to tap into as memories of the past when you study this principle. You can also dissolve separation consciousness by studying this principle and access some of your real ass superpowers. And we'll end today with another quote from the Kabbalion. He who grasps the truth of the mental nature of the universe is well advanced on the path to mastery. So does all of that make sense to you? Please let me know if this makes sense and or drop your questions in the comments. And if you're still watching and you enjoyed this, but you haven't liked the video yet, please don't forget to do that. I really appreciate the algorithm boost. Leave a comment to also let the algorithm know that it should show this to more people. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and ring the little bell so that you never miss an upload. Um, again, if you want an overview, or I don't know, actually, I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but if you want an overview of each of the seven hermetic principles, please check out this week's Abundant Universe podcast episode, which is linked for you below as well. Join me here next Tuesday, where we'll discuss the law or the principle, it's a, it's a spiritual law, but the principle of correspondence and how to use it to speed up your manifestations and book your spot to work with me while you still can and or become a patron for all kinds of exclusive content and perks that no one else has access to. Remember, you can have the life that your soul came here to live and I believe in you, so you should too. Much love.